hope I have a breakdown today of how I did the robot sequence uh, in episode 3 of After Us. This breakdown focuses on shot 1 of 3 shots that have robots in them in episode 3 of After Us, but episodes 1 and 2 also have robots, and I haven't gone over any of those shots, but the... actually, yeah, I have. But the breakdown still applies for all shots with the robots in them. So um, let's let's take a look at the shot that I'm gonna go over. Hey, I'm right here. here. I'm right here. Okay. So uh, let me talk about this. <clears throat> so to start off, storyboard is very important. So I made up a storyboard in Photoshop, rented out some frames, rented out the robot and popped it in where I wanted it to and then I gave a little description of what I want to happen in that frame and I did that for all three shots that the robot was in for episode three here and I sent it off to my VX, VFX artists my robot animator was Richard Corner so he got this first he animated the robot and sent it back to me and he sent the blender file back so let's hop into blender so let me talk a little bit about about why I chose Blender. Blender is an open source free program but available for download to anyone. And we got the models for free online because they were giving them away I, I believe from Project London. If you if you search for that it'll be able uh, you'll be able to find the uh, the models but so we used a free 3D program and we used free 3D models. We wanted to show that anyone could do this and have some great looking results so I'd like to think the results are pretty good looking for what we what we have so he animated this and then sent it back don't worry the wobbly legs don't show up evidently in uh, in the animation but this is what he sent back and uh, so we render it out let me just give you a quick uh, render of, of a single file here we render it out as a PNG so that the alpha around the robot shows through so basically we just have about 300 frames I believe for shot one of robot animation and we're able to easily composite it in on top of the of the footage so uh, it makes it easy for the co compositor uh, I don't know why I can't talk uh, but but uh, we want to make sure we get the light right and uh, overall the model looks pretty good which I was very pleased with that's one of the reasons we chose this too so uh, that's what it looks like and then we come over here to After Effects and all we have is this background plate. Tracked in Buju. I know I guess that goes away from the terms of everyone could do it but we could have tracked it in Mocha. We could have tracked it right here in the camera tracker in After Effects. Uh, so there's, there's lots of possibilities. I, I just like Buju and chose to do it that way. It was just a nice nodal pan. No match moving involved. So I came back here after tracking it and um, my compositor composited it in. And this is what we get. We get the robot. Let me take off the, the rotoscopes because I haven't talked about that yet. So that's what happens when you composite it in. Uh, let me just take the effects off. We take the levels off and if we take the blur off, that is what we get when we drop it right in. Doesn't look too pretty. So we added a Gaussian blur to blur it out a little and levels and that matches much nicer. So next problem lies ahead is this robot is standing right here on the bushes not behind anything. It doesn't look like it's really in the frame. So my roto artist Robin Michelson helped out with that. So created this roto plate which is right here we just rotoed out the the bushes right here along with this cattail roto uh, that's this right here because it does go over his foot at some point and we want to make sure we cover that so there it does go over the foot <laughs> um, let me zoom in yep there it is so uh, we want to be very precise with this roto so um, that's how we put the robot in here and of course we just added some motion blur for the robot I added uh, frame blending
because there was a weird jittery effect I was getting and I wasn't happy with that and enable the frame blending and motion blur and this is what we get and I was very pleased with that and then we sent it back to our compositor and he added the muzzle flashes and the rocket hits from the robot and then sent it back to me so that is a breakdown of how I did the robot the robot shots in After Us, episodes 1, 2, and 3. Uh, that's kind of the workflow. Uh, so remember, you want your storyboards, and you're going to do your animation, then you're going to go to compositing, and then you're going to do any final tweaking. Uh, so that's basically the, the workflow that I had working between three different people. I don't know if I said my compositor, but my compos compositor was Sterling Rank. Uh, so check him out on YouTube. Robot animation was done by Richard Corner, and my Rota artist was Robin Michelson. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.